A British Iranian woman who has been detained in Iran since 2016 has indirectly caused an international standoff between the UK and Tehran. CBS News contributor Simon Bates has more in this week's London Calling. And as always, a reminder, Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflecting those of everybody at CBSN. This is a story of international intrigue and intergovernmental skullduggery. At the centre of it all is a frightened lady who's currently trapped in Iran and who just wants to be reunited with her husband and their six-year-old daughter in London. Back in 2016, Nazanin Zagahari Ratcliffe, who has dual British and Iranian citizenship, was arrested along with her little girl and held by the Iranians, accused of plotting to overthrow their government. She'd travelled to Iran to take young Gabriella to see her Iranian family. Her British husband, Richard, could only watch from the sidelines as Nazanin became a pawn in a ruthless game of international chess. You see, the Iranians have privately admitted that she is really being detained because of Britain's failure to repay an outstanding debt of 550 million US dollars for defence equipment paid for but never supplied. The British government acknowledges it owes the money but maintains that international sanctions against Iran prevent repayment. Two years ago, the Iranians released Gabriella. She's now living in Britain with her father and waiting for her mother to rejoin them. Meantime, Richard Ratcliffe feels utterly helpless when faced with this political stalemate. So he's gone on hunger strike, sleeping in a tent outside our foreign office to try and shame both sides into unlocking the impasse. The British government's attitude has always been to play it down, to keep it quiet so as not to antagonise the Iranians. But that hasn't worked. She hasn't come home, and her husband is reaching the end of his tether. He has the sense of Nazanin's life being wasted away in Iran, while her file sits in a ministerial in-tray. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.